Hi everyone, I'm Simon Kimber, a bowler and coach based in the UK and the creator of Tempin Toolkit. I hope you're all staying safe and that you and your loved ones are keeping well. As bowlers, we're obviously all desperate to get back on the lanes and loads of people are finding ways to practice at home. I've decided to build something for my kids and I to practice on before we forget how to bowl. If you follow Tempin Toolkit on Facebook or Twitter, you may have seen that I've marked out where the lane is going to go and I've received a delivery of around 50 metres of Unistrut steel channel and fixings, so I'm ready to actually make a start. You can just about see the string outline where the lane is going to be. I'm going to start by using the Unistrut to build a 40 foot or 12 metre long metal frame that's going to be 4 foot wide with cross beams every 4 feet. To that I'm going to fix 5 8x4 sheets of 3 quarter inch marine plywood. I'm going to put the foul line 13 feet from the start of the lane. That's where I start my approach normally so I don't need it any longer and I wanted to maximise the length of the lane after the foul line. At 4 feet wide it's going to be just over 6 inches wider than a real lane so I might black out 3 inches on either side. With the gutters for the moment I'm just going to fix 6 inch boards to each side so it's not going to be possible for the ball to go out of play or to practice hitting the one board. I've got some ideas around replacing the sideboards with some sort of rails as a future upgrade, but I don't even have anything built yet, so I'm trying not to get ahead of myself. I'll obviously want some arrows and dots for targeting, and I'm going to need to build some sort of backstop at the end. There's a cool video doing the rounds on Facebook recently of a practice lane somebody has built where the ball rolls around the end of the lane and comes back to the bowler. I considered doing something similar, but decided that that was going to limit the angles that I could practice. A ball straight down the middle, for example, would probably end up with something badly breaking. So for now, I'm just going to stick with putting some padding at the end and a slight incline to the lane so that gravity brings the ball back fairly slowly. And that's the plan. Please subscribe and click the bell to follow along with how I'm doing. For better or worse, I'm going to document the whole process on here so you can see how well or not it all goes. If you don't already have Tempin Toolkit, then please check it out on the App Store or on Google Play. Even with most bowling centres closed right now, I'm still getting some amazing feedback from people who are using the observation trainer every day to improve their ball motion observation skills, and that's really going to have a positive impact when they get back on the lanes. You can find out more about the app on the website at www.tempintoolkit.com or come and find me on Instagram and Twitter as Tenpin Toolkit, all one word, or search for Tenpin Toolkit on Facebook.